Hey, Bam, we'll get started once we get some hands raised. And we'll start with Ira Winderman. Bam, coach always warns us it never really doesn't always matter who's on the other team. It's an NBA game. It's always going to turn into a fight to a degree. What was it like playing this Lakers team without all those guys and still finding yourself in a three point game late in the game? Was it surprising to you or is that just the nature of this league? Jack, NBA players still. I mean, it doesn't matter if uh, your best players out, but they still are NBA players. They still can hoop. Mm -hmm. So it is. And then to see that moment, Vic, with that one great dunk uh, earlier in the game and, and really just flexing and feeling good after and then see him come back, come down awkwardly after the second. What was that like in the locker room after the game when he's been working for so long to get back healthy and then has to limp in like that? Uh, you never want to see one of your brothers go down. So, you know, I'm glad he's okay. You know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, he came in, we walked in, and he, he was congratulating us on the win. So, you know, I feel like he's okay. He just had a little scare. And then last for me, um, obviously it was uneven a little bit for Precious with the fouls, but he at least bought you some time and was very aggressive on the offensive end. Just sort of your thoughts of a young guy pushing through the foul trouble to make a, an important contribution. Thank you. Uh, he, he, he's developing, you know. <laughs> he, he's watching film, he's doing the little things that we want him to do. So all he gotta do is keep doing that. And uh, you know, he, he, he's gonna be a good player in this league. Thank you. Hi, Bam, thank you. That does matter, people.